Hello there YouTube, today I'm going to show you um, a tutorial on how to set up an SMTP server, uh, a web email server, so that you can now um, email your customers or your members uh, if they forgot their password or so that they can reset it or if you want to validate their email address or uh, many there's many features involved in uh, the SMTP server uh, you can also make sure that their email address is real uh, so that they can't access the website unless they give you a valid email address now to do this first of all we'll need to go to Drupal's website um, then we need to go to modules click the modules button and search PHP module uh, PHP mailer and click PHP mailer now in the PHP mailer obviously make sure that you download the correct version for whatever version of Drupal you've got. I have seven so I downloaded the the seven version. When you've downloaded it you unzip it and then drop it into modules folder. So I'll show you on my network If we go into modules and you basically just drag and drop the uh, folder PHP mailer there you go so you just extract it into here and then what you do is go onto your website when you're on your website you basically go to modules first off and then scroll down to PHP mailer I just press control and F and type PHP M for mailer and then tick enable and then save configuration when it's saved what you need to do is go to configuration and then PHP mailer on the system and what you need to do first of all is create a Google a Gmail account because uh, if you don't have a Gmail account uh, you, unless you know the specifics for Gmail um, Hotmail or whatever you ain't gonna really get past this so as for instance for Gmail it's smtp.gmail.com uh, don't need a backup SMTP uh, the port for Google is 465 and the secure is SSL then go to set up uh, authorization authentication um, and obviously in there you'll type your email address and your password obviously I will not be monitoring this email address as this is just an automatic mailing system we obviously make your password as strong as possible uh, then scroll down uh, to go to advanced SMTP uh, put the name is from so fizzy6868 is mine uh, tick always set reply to address this must be done for Google uh, Gmail account uh, keep connection alive now keeping the connection alive if you're gonna send a 
hundreds of emails. If you know, there's loads of people connecting and asking for passwords and checking emails. That is, it really helps stop lag and because obviously it keeps the connection open for loads of emails rather than just one. Debug mode, uh, not necessary. Just keep it disabled. Uh, test configuration. Uh, to test it, what you do is you type in your email address and you'll get an email from your website telling you that it's worked. Um, now obviously um, the advantage for this is going into your account settings on your website which is in your configurations I'll show you now and uh, under people account settings in account settings um, obviously you've got all the settings for your your accounts on like what what they'll be if they're anonymous um, now obviously as you can see here I've put require email verification when a visitor creates an account basically they'll set it'll send an email address email to the person and you'll have to click the email and then type in your password for your account if you don't do it you obviously won't get in um, obviously you've got all your written enable features and stuff down below here, as you can see, we've got emails. The welcome email, which would just say, the administrator has created an account of your site. Right. The one that where I put verification, as you can see, welcome approved. It says, thank you at site name, which would be the site name. Your account is currently pending approval. That's for if I have to admin approve it. Um, account activation. Here you go. It says site name, and then they have to click this URL here. Um, so all you have to do is change it. Um, I hope this has helped. Uh, I know it's a bit of a quick tutorial, but it is five o'clock in the morning. Um, and also I'd like to say uh, check out my website uh, I am going to be giving away freebies uh, for anyone that's carried on listening to this video um, all you have to do is listen to my uh, video that I'm going to give a freebie on and then just post the answer on my website in my forums uh, if you want any more tutorials on Drupal then I'm willingly able to give you a hand. Uh, if you want me to make this more in depth so you understand it a bit more, then just drop me a comment and I'll try my hardest to get it a little bit more detailed for you. If there's any modules you're stuck on or would like to advance your site or make it look different, um, anything that you feel that interested in, then please just drop me a comment. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. Thank you ever so much for watching my video and goodbye.